Hello everybody, Burnt Oak Guy here, and welcome back. In the last episode, we made this beautiful foundry system of, uh, what did we do here? Steel? <laughs> yeah, we made a steel foundry system. That's awesome. That's awesome. So now that's all backed up and all that good stuff, and we'll see if I can get off of these stairs properly. And Oh, look at that. I did it. Woo! Oh yeah, going to be a good episode today. I didn't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's pretty wicked. So today our f we're, uh, we're going to make motors, yes. So in order to make motors, we're going to use uh, our steel here. But we're not just going to use steel. Oh, no. We got a few other things we have to cart over here this today. We have to cart over the wire. Oh, yes, wire. So we're going to be using steel, iron, and wire into this factory. That's going to be friggin' awesome. So now... We have to go take whatever wire that we made there. I got wire and I got cable up the Yazoo over there. I'm going to have to go stop all that. I'm going to have to make myself a belt for the uh, the copper itself. And then that's going to come on and follow here. It's going to go into its own foundry system that I'm going to have to build right next to the other one. And then from that point, we can add it into our factory so that's going to be a little bit of extra added work today um the steel thank god is already done and same with the iron so this is where we're going to be able to start recirculating our iron so it's going to go always around and it's always going to sh it should always technically be moving in the end um depending on what resources we're going to be using because at over time things are just going to stop so like eventually this is all going to fill up right now they're just trying to fill up the assemblers upstairs with um, the modular frames and then once those back up it's going to be just making plates uh, the reinforced plates and once that little box fills up well then this whole system is going to stop so but just to give you a little detail of uh, what we're going to be doing today I set up a little area I think this should be big enough I, I'm not sure if it's going to be as tall I kind of have a different pattern on how I want to build this one this time around. Um, but uh, this is the list of things that we're going to need. So for the rotors, we're going to need 10, 10 assemblers. And the stratters, we're going to need 10 assemblers. Now with that, we should be able to make 30 motors a minute. Um, but we're going to need a bunch of constructors too. So we're going to need... Uh, iron rods, 12 constructors, screws, 15 constructors, steel pipes, 12 constructors, and wire, 14 constructors. That's what's all going to be jam-packed in this wonderful, beautiful thing that I'm, we're going to build today. So yes, I'm going to have to go chop down those trees because they are uh, kind of protruding on our platform, which is not good. No protrusion allowed. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all the plans for today. I'm going to go start, uh, moving this copper, and, uh, that's going to be that, man. Excellent, excellent. So all that's left now is to hook up the power to this bad boy. And we're now going to have all kinds of copper. Now I put a Mark II on here, so now we should get the 120 items per minute out of this. Uh, that's pretty good. It's a good start for our copper production. And there we go, man. We got copper. Awesome. So that's going to head back to over here, and now we just got to set up a smeltery system for it, and we'll be good to go. Absolutely s astonishing would be the word. Man, this is starting to look pretty freaking awesome, man. I like this. I like this. So I pretty much will just copy the very first design that we did over here for the uh, smelteries. Um, everything's just going to come back out on this path afterwards, so... Yeah, I think everything's just going to be fine and dandy. Uh, I had to fix the belt back there as well. That's why this belt looked kind of a little bit empty at the moment. Um, 
the walls were I, I didn't put the walls in and they were kind of like encroaching when I was trying to put the walls in so yeah anyways I did the same thing here put the walls up first and then I put the belt in so really all the only thing left to do is let's see if I can do this connect that to that and a beautiful now we have 120 uh, copper uh, a minute going into all of this wonderful beautifulness eventually we'll be able to upgrade all the belts and all that good stuff and things will get fed a lot faster so at least we have copper being made now now we when it's done it's all going to come back out on here onto this belt so we'll have copper we'll have steel and we'll have iron and that will all be ready to be fed into this building on this side over here this this is great this is coming along so awesome all right so i'm going to start working on the the motors and rotors and stators and all that good stuff oh man this is so wicked all right so while building and all that good stuff look what i found over here eight iron nodes isn't that insane i don't know if they're any good but pfft, i don't care i'm going to use them all if i have to and there's, I noticed there's some limestone over there, and there's another limestone patch over there. So, we've got a really nice, good area we can uh, resource harvest uh, later on, too. So, uh, at the same time, I'll give you a quick uh, little over jammy looky look at what I'm doing here. And I took a different approach this time around compared to the other one. Uh, here, let's get up here. Okay, so. Um, iron's going to come flowing in here. I chose to do the iron section first, um, mainly because it's the largest section that we're going to have, and it wouldn't be any sense to have the largest one on top. So uh, here we got uh, iron feeding into making rods. Each machine is going to supply the other one for rods to make screws. So that's my setup for to make screws, and this side here is just going to make iron rods because with iron rods and screws you put those together and in the assemblers I'm gonna have going down on this side you're gonna have our rotors if I'm not mistaken yeah our rotors and then that's that now our stators are gonna be on the next level I'm gonna build another floor here and that one right here is gonna be uh, the steel and the wire is gonna go up and we're going to have a similar setup like this, but except we won't need double of those. We're only going to need one row of each, and it's going to look pretty good. So it'll be just a little bit smaller than this one. And then the very last one on top is just going to be the construction of all the actual stator, uh, the motors itself. So that one's going to be even smaller, a little bit of a setup. So, yeah, I think it's going to look all really good. And here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the entire first floor all nice and done. So we got rods making screws. We got screws coming over here. Everything's being looped around, coming out through here being fed into these assemblers. All these assemblers are going to shoot out their product out here and then that's going to be able to go up to the final floor. Now all that's left to do is actually connect it. So let's see if we can uh, masterfully, skillfully come down this thing. I always fly off and I don't understand why. There's like there should be like a guardrail behind it. Oh you know what? Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just easier that way. Um, Alright, so let's take this iron. Let's slap it up against this thing right here. And iron's going to go through. <clears throat> oh, I never made a return for the iron yet. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Alright, so maybe on this side over here, I can have a return line for the iron. Because like I said, I want to be able to reuse everything, right? So my iron, that finishes out to uh, where now? Over... Over here. Oh, that wouldn't be so hard to get a conveyor belt to come over here. Around. So I would have to extend this. 
Let's go two more. Oh uh, yeah, that sounds right. So one more here like this, and then we can have our conveyor belt go down. Alright, so that's not so bad. I'll have that hooked up uh, by the time we do the next floor. Uh, this one right here is where I'm probably going to start the floor. That way I get a nice clearance above the machines and I can add a nice little catwalk system because I'm going to add like one of these main doors here. Uh, yeah, I guess I could add it. Or how do I want to do this? Because I want a door to this place, right? Hmm. I'll figure that out after. But, because I got like a lot of wasted space there, if I add a door one wide over, anyways, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, yeah. I'll get to work on that. This is all going to be producing the the materials needed. So, in the meantime, waiting for this thing to like overflow. It's going to take a little while. So, um, our items are being split off over there a little bit. So, we are losing some of the items. So it's not going to be, you know, 100% yet. But uh, <clears throat> as soon as we upgrade our belt speed, that should change quite a bit too. So that's going to be coming very shortly is belt speed change. Once we finish this factory anyways, I'll probably set up something where I can just feed off of the, the steel at the moment and make a bunch of steel beams and then go crazy and upgrade all the belts all over the place to tier 3 belts. So... Yeah. All right, off to the next floor we go. All right, spectacular. This is looking mighty, mighty weird. Um, I did just go ahead and connect everything. Everything on the top here still needs power, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect power to that. Um, but I might change this out eventually. Um, I have a few ideas to make it a little bit cleaner-like, cleaner-looking, I should say. So it kind of, you know... A little bit of a jambled mess, but I do have an idea to kind of clean it up a little bit, and I'll try that out uh, afterwards. But it is it is what it is for now. Um, there's not going to be that many materials coming through on this bus, to be honest with you, because I'm only doing like the low tier um, stuff here, and then the higher tier stuff will start dragging. In dragging in in another location from another location that way everything's not so jumbled up and we'll have our two material buses combine at one point or another yeah that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking but uh yeah so that's my jumbled mess in the front at the moment um it's it's not that bad though i don't mind the crappy staircase placement here you're gonna see why in a second um yeah here we go <laughs> So we'll go add power to this, and that should start making us stators, which is awesome. So now I can add power to this, bam, and where are you here? Right above me? Awesome. Now let's fill in that hole so I don't fall into it. Excellent. Most, most excellent. So now, everything up here should be functioning. Oh. Uh, you didn't get your command, so you're going to make stators. You're going to make stators. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Oops. Stators. Yeah, not too bad, man. Not too bad. This is coming along pretty good. I'm really enjoying this, uh, this whole factory building experience, and considering I actually work in a factory, um, you think this would turn you off from... <laughs> from actually playing the game, but no, no, not at all. When you know how things should be done right, <laughs> I guess this gives you your opportunity to say, see, see, this is how you're supposed to build a bloody factory. Anyways, um, yeah, this looks pretty good. There we go. Everything's starting to flow in. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Look at this. And we're going to have our first little staters come out here there very shortly. Probably this one. There we go. Our first stater. Woo -hoo -hoo. Excellent. That's so awesome. So now all that's left is to build the last floor where we combine the uh, rotors and staters together to make motors. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go off and do that and make sure I got all my material and we'll be right on back. Most excellent! Look at this. This is going to be 
Beautiful. Woo! Uh, loving it. Loving it. All right, so all we have to do is connect our stators and our motors here. And we should be good to go. We should be making... Oop, let's put that away. I know we're a little excited here. And then we should make motors. That's pretty dope. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Oh, oh man. I was thinking about maybe putting uh, storage containers up in between these two. Um, and then if I ever needed any any motors or, or st stators or whatever. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> oh, but everything's being created. We should be making motors. And there we go. There's our motors. Awesomely awesome. That's totally wicked. So our motors are going to come out here. They're going to go on this beautiful item elevator down into that storage container right just not next to the uh, modular frames. Isn't that wicked? That just totally worked out just great. <laughs> I love it. It's friggin' awesome. So uh, that's it everybody. We made motors today. That's another huge step in our in our advancements, we'll be able to probably unlock more stuff next episode now that we have uh, lots more motors, rotors, and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Just want to go take a look at this front one more last time there. Let me look at this. Yeah. Definitely going to try to figure something out to make that a little bit more eye appealing. But uh, other than that, it's going to be hard to do with, um, with a return. Not so bad if it only had one going in, but because I have this return system where I want stuff to kind of like re come back onto the main line, I don't want it to just sit there. If it can be used to make something else, well, then it can be used to make something else. So, kind of about uh, recyclability. recyclability? <laughs> Anyways, whatever. I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Peace, take care, and we'll see you next time.